Good morning and welcome to the prayer porch. It's good to have you here this morning. It is, um, Lord, I just love you. I uh, thank you that this is where I can come, just take your word and put it on my heart and uh, let it direct my path through the day. Thank you for all that you do. And I pray, Lord, you would turn hearts to you in all things. I love you and I praise you in Jesus' name. I, um, yesterday I just, I took the day and I just needed it for me. And this morning I've taken some time just to, um, align some things for me. I, the verse for the day just really hit me hard. And when I came out and I looked above it and below it, like at the end of it, it's the last verse of the Old Testament. The last verse of the Old Testament and... And Malachi, he's trying to prepare everyone. And he says this. He says, Look, I am sending a prophet, Elijah, before the great dreadful day of the Lord arrives. And the preaching with all will turn their hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. That sounds fine. And what's that? No more than fine. It sounds beautiful, wonderful. It's what we need. But then, the last words in the Old Testament says, Otherwise, if you choose not to listen, I will curse. I will come and I will, I will strike the land with a curse. He's saying, I'm giving you every opportunity, every opportunity to follow me. But understand there's consequences to your actions. So I went before chapter four is very short, very short. It's just 16 verses. So I went to the top of chapter four and I came to this. And this is where the Lord just took my thoughts this morning. It says, the Lord of heaven's armies, the day of judgment was the Lord of heaven's army says, the day of judgment is coming burning like a furnace, and on that day, the arrogant and the wicked will be burned up like straw. They would just be consumed. This is it. Are you heavy? It's three simple words. Four. Roots, branches, and all. But those who fear the name of the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in their wings. You will go free, and you will leap with joy like the calves out in the pasture. So once again, we have a choice. But these are the words that caught me. They will be consumed, roots, branches, and all. Not just the source, but all of those who chose to plug into that source. So suddenly in my inner spirit, I got this, oh Lord, you need to be careful what is it that you're allowing yourself to be grafted into? Because whatever you're going to allow yourself to grow into, I have a vine at work that I brought in for the winter and it's by the window. And I realized yesterday, I'm like, when did this happen? It's gotten itself totally entangled into the um, cords for my curtains in my classroom. And I'm like, golly, I don't remember that even being there last week, but they got entwined in it. I'm busy with spring with mixing in my flowers and getting this one and that one and trying to. I'm fascinated. My brother-in-law has a, uh, takes trees and splices them and, and grafts them together. That fascinates me. So I'm asking myself, though, Louie, who are you twining in with? What thoughts, what philosophies, what people? What activities, what news are you, oh, I want to hear that. What are you grafting yourself into? Because it's not just the source. It determines if you're going to run like calves in an open field or if you're going to burn in fire. John 15, 5 says, Jesus says, I am the vine and you are my branches. Is your, are you a branch of Jesus or are you a branch or a root <laughs> or even a stem it says roots branches and all 
So are you entwined and grafted into what is good? Are you grafted into the ways this world is trying to lead people astray? I'm going to adopt this worldly idea and disregard this biblical idea. I'm going to adopt this biblical idea and I'm going to take a stand when the world tries to pull me. What are you going to choose to do? Because again, it seems like everything I'm coming to is saying there's tickets here. He wishes that everyone would come into the kingdom. But he's telling you all through here, there's consequences for your choices. So choose wisely. Choose wisely. I think of the after, of the uh, Chinese proverb that I used to read when I was in uh, with my students, where the wise man, they said, um, he, they, they put a bird in his hand and they said, if you tell me, they, uh, they have a bird in their hand and they said, is this bird dead or alive? Because if you say it right, then I'll give you your life. If you say it wrong, then I, and the guy said, the answer's in your hands. Because if I say it's dead, you're going to open your hands and let it free. If I say it's alive, you're going to simply snap its neck and say, no, it's dead. And I'm condemned either way. So the choice of life and death is in your hands. We have the same choice. We determine our eternity, not God. Because it's what you root yourself into. Because one of those roots, branches and all, is going to be put in the fire. Another one's going to be sent through the fence to run free in the fields. Jesus says, I am the vine and you are my branches. He tells us to bear fruit of the Spirit. So look at what fruit you're bearing. And you may figure out what branch you're grafted into. Gave me something to think about this morning. I really want to take today and really look at my fruits. What kind of fruit am I bearing and what am I branched into? Have a good day. Like. Subscribe, share so that people get it who need it. And uh, leave me a message. I enjoy hearing from you. Have a great day.